It, was it a good experience? It was a great experience. Yeah. And Same for myself too. I mean, yeah. I, I was at, you know, 300 and some odd pounds, yeah. dieted all the way down to 170 to compete wow. in middleweight bodybuilding. Isn't that so intense. Lively Nation, what's up? Before we get into today's episode, just a quick message. We just launched our Tone at Home follow along workout program, body weight only, that Jessica is leading. It's awesome, she's put me through the workouts. I'm loving it as well. 40% off right now, so it's only gonna be that for a short period of time. Link down below, let's go. We are told that we have to eat in order to build muscle and get lean. Why is it that bodybuilders restrict calories in order to get lean for competition? Not that I want to starve myself, yeah. just curious. Let's throw it over to the uh, lady who's done all the competitions. Have you ever done a competition? I have. Okay, I'll yeah, let you two we take this. two competitors on the show today. All right, so from a female perspective, what do we got? Yes, I really had a huge education with this. When I first started competing, I actually learned very quickly that I was way undercutting my calories because when I first started, all the advice was that females should be around 1,200 to 1,500 calories. And that just goes across the board. Doesn't matter what your yeah. height is and Co everything. Cookie which, cutter. Yeah, it's so ridiculous now looking back. But at the time, I totally ate that up and I believed it. So I put myself on this restrictive diet and I was fitting in low calorie foods like rice cakes and like low fat yogurts and things like that to keep my calories below a certain level. And I just wasn't making any gains, you know? My body was looking the same. And like with all the cardio I was doing, I got skinnier, but I just didn't look shapely like competition shape is supposed mm -hmm. to look. So yes, it is true that you have to eat to make gains. I learned that the hard way by making anti-gains and then figuring it out. Then again, to lean out and kind of do your final cut prep, you need to be really diligent about what you're eating and how much. So yes, it is somewhat calorie restrictive, but it's not like insanely restrictive, like 1200 calories. Like I wouldn't go that low, mm -hmm. but you want to cut your calories slightly. So you're in a daily deficit. You also increase your exercise and that's what helps you get like ultra shredded for the day of the show. It's going to be a little different for a guy than it is a girl, just because of the, yep. s the stigma for a guy like, Oh, I'm in, I'm bulking. I'm <laughs> off season, whatever. You hear that a lot yeah. where guys in the off season will be eating four or 5,000 calories, yeah. taking these mass gainer shakes and they're constantly full. And then it comes time to cut down for a competition and they're complaining about how little they're eating when in reality, Still they're not really lot. eating that little. Right. They're just eating little compared to the 6,000 calories yeah. a day they were eating before. In order to get lean up, you are going to have to restrict your calories from where you were, obviously, but right. it does not not have to be this major, major starvation thing. Absolutely. So yes, it is true, but it's always like a but, <laughs> but it depends right. on like where you're at and where you've been, and the person. where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. And the person and your metabolism type and your training. There's like a whole lot of things, but when you're going into competition, you need to know all the details, like how many calories you need, how many calories your workouts are burning and you know, like what types of foods work best for your body. Like I even got to the point where I knew which carbs my body liked better. Like yeah. between rice and sweet potatoes. Like I was that dialed in that yeah. I could tell a difference in my body if I had sweet potatoes versus rice. Yeah. So competition is a whole nother level of seriousness and dedication and really putting a microscope on your nutrition and your fitness. But competitions is not what living lean is all about. I'll just no. I'll just put it that out there because I've never competed. I've never wanted to compete. Not that I have anything against people that compete. I honestly don't because a lot of people transform. Yeah, bro, what you trying to say? No, I, I'm, I'm not dissing on that. I'm just saying... For me, like I get asked this question all the time. Why don't you compete? Why don't yeah. you compete? Because it's not Cause about that. you look so ready all it's the time. It's not about that to me. It's it's more self-esteem thing for me. Like I'm competing against myself. I'm trying to get better. Right. I'm trying to get stronger. It's not about going up on stage and trying to beat other competitors. But right, which I think is where Jeremy and I eventually came to. Like wouldn't you say well, you're at a place oh, where yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. need you that won't anymore? do it again? No, I will not. Right. Did, was it a good experience? It was a great experience. Yeah. And, and for myself too. I mean, yeah. I, I was at, you know, 300 and some odd pounds, yeah. dieted all the way down to 170 to be wow. middleweight bodybuilding. Isn't that so intense? that was kind of the end of my, the first part of my journey, I guess you could say. And I was doing it all for me. Yeah. You call it a competition. I was only competing with myself yeah. too. Right. I, I was not competitive up there. I was proud of the amount of effort that I put in and where I go. took my physique. So, so that's, right. a, that's an important piece there, but I just, I know so many people, I know so many girls, especially personally, I know them that have gone in, they've competed, and they have done some damage to their body oh, yeah. mm -hmm. because they just didn't do it the right way. Anyway, or I'm, having the wrong attitude coming out of a show, yeah. like thinking, oh, now the show's over, I can just eat whatever right. and never work out again. Yeah. Reverse That's, dieting is just as important. Yes, just yeah. as important. which is a whole yeah. other thing we can talk about if you guys want to learn more about that. But 
but it's not really what our show it's is about. It's not like what Living said, Lean but. is all about. This is a lifestyle 365 yeah. for us. Today's question of the day, have you ever competed in a fitness or bodybuilding competition? Comment below. If you want to go watch a video we did on how to build a bodybuilder's physique, you can go click on that video. It's actually over here. <laughs>